Buongiorno! Italian food is much more than just pizza and spaghetti. When visiting Rome, do as the Romans do and eat some of the city's typical dishes. These are the top 10 things to eat in Rome. First things first. The day in Rome starts with an Italian coffee. But if you really want a good kickoff, visit a local pastry or coffee bar and accompany your espresso with a maritozzo. This typical Roman breakfast is no less than a blissful whipped cream bomb. This is a maritozzo, a very traditional Roman breakfast that we have with a cup of cappuccino. You have to grab it, all of it, so it will get messy. You will okay. Get... okay, let's try it. You ready? Yeah. Cheers! All roads may lead to Rome, but the best route is via gastronomy. If you are craving for something quick and tasty, a slice of Italian pizza is the right choice. Delicious. Romans are proud of their crispy crust pizza, and from mundane snack they made it into an edible masterpiece. The local recommendation? Buy a slice of pizza in one of the many fornos around the city. Something halfway a pizzeria and a bakery. Cheap, fast and delicious. Mm, Need a quick recharge in between the sightseeing? What about something a little messy, but downright delicious? So please, a typical Roman dish. It's a, the king of the Roman street food. It's a rice bowl with tomato sauce, beef, mozzarella, deep fried it, and then... No place in the world do fried food to the level of Rome. Fried zucchini flour has become one of the city's signature dishes. You already zucca, zucchini flour with inside mozzarella and anchovies and we deep fry it. Moving next to the most graceful and elegant fried dish, maestro. Jewish style artichokes are deep fried to become crispy from the outside but stay creamy inside. The best place to get this delicacy is the ancient Jewish Quarter. This recipe, offered by most local restaurants, comes directly from the past and owes its name to the Roman Jewish community that invented it. Time to move to Roma's classic pastas. The first one, Cacio e Pepe. It's a spiritual sensation when you find yourself in front of a bowl of goodness. This typical sauce is prepared from four simple ingredients. Black pepper, parmesan and pecorino cheese mixed together with some pasta water to create a creamy sauce that is the perfect combination of savory, spicy and tangy flavors. In Rome you live to eat, our second pasta pick and number 7 of this top 10 is Bucatini alla Matriciana. In its purest, most classic form the sauce has only 4 ingredients. Cured pork, tomatoes, cheese and hot peppers. Time for some dessert, and one thing that can't be missed visiting Rome is Italian gelato. Cioccolato, panna cotta, frutti di bosco, fragola, limon. Rome gelaterias can please even most sophisticated taste lovers. Gelato is created by skilled artisans who take pride in their creations. No artificial colorings or flavorings are used in authentic Italian gelato. How to recognize it? If you want to make sure you're dealing with naturally produced gelato with local ingredients, then remember this. If the colors are too bright, the gelato ain't right. Buon appetito! If you want to branch out from gelato in the world of Italian sweets, you must eat tiramisu, which is probably the country's most beloved dessert. If you are in Rome, you have absolutely to try the tiramisu, like pistacchio, for example. Pistacchio. You have a normal one. This is the classic. Let's try. That's really good. The last but not least important food to try in Rome is award-winning cheese and cured meats, which also goes well with Italian wine. The city has old traditions in making these delicacies. This is Antica Cacciara, the best cheese shop in Trastevere. It's very special because this family is selling cheese to us since 120 years. Parmigiano, prosciutto, pecorino. When you're in Rome, don't forget to get at least a few varieties of cheese and cured meats and then have a picnic on one of the Roman hills and enjoy some Italian snacks and a good bottle of wine. Thanks, Gabrielle. Salute. Salute. <laughs>